Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a fun little review on the two little mini palettes I picked up from the brand Colored Rain. I picked up one of the warm tone palettes as well as one of the cool tones. This is Beauty Rust and this is very cute. And yeah, I've had so much fun playing with these palettes and I'm ready to give you guys my review. So if you're interested, just keep watching. Also guys, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe down below. I do upload every other day, so you do get quite a bit of content from me. Right now, I do have a giveaway just to say thank you to you guys for watching my channel and checking out my videos. I'm giving away a little ColourPop X My Little Pony palette, and the giveaway is active on that video, so I'll go ahead and link it down in the description box so you guys can go ahead and enter. Anyway, without further blabbering, let's get into this review video. Okay guys, so like I mentioned, I did pick up two palettes. There's actually four of these. I only wanted to get the ones that I knew I would play with. Honestly, in retrospect, I would have probably just gotten this one and been just fine. But when they came for pre-sale, I got really excited. And I thought this was one of the warm palettes, but it actually ended up being one of the cool tone ones. Because it looked like it was going to be a warm tone palette in the pictures so I just like grabbed it but now looking back I realize that this is one of the cool tone ones but I guess in a way it kind of almost pushed me out of my comfort zone so I am glad I did pick this up it is actually the palette I'm wearing on my eyes so if you guys aren't familiar with the brand this is by the brand Colored Rain it is a black owned brand and I actually heard about them um, towards the end of 2016 because I picked up the Queen of Hearts palette I think that palette really kind of push them into that next level because they have been around for a while. They're a pretty popular indie brand and after they launched the Queen of Hearts palette that thing sold out. Now it is a permanent palette. It's honestly one of my favorite palettes and then I ended up buying some of their lipsticks. I have a bunch of their single eyeshadows so I do quite frequently buy from them. A little shopping tip though, they usually do great sales around the holidays. So right now, as I'm filming this, it is very close to Halloween. Um, and I know they have a Halloween sale going on on their website right now. Now I'm not sure when this video will go up, but I'm assuming they'll have a sale during Thanksgiving, Christmas, and things like that. So if you don't wanna go ahead and buy anything full price, I would recommend waiting for a sale. That's how I usually end up buying stuff from them. I did pay full price for these, of course, because they are new. So these are available for sale on their website right now. I did look that up as I'm filming this video. I bought them during the pre-order, which was really nice. So I did end up being able to purchase them and then they shipped before they launched, I believe, on the Color Rain website. Shipping did take a little bit of time because my order date was 10.06 and they ended up arriving to me on 10.23. The price of these palettes are $36 each. There is also a bundle available. Like I said, I only wanted to buy what I needed, so I didn't purchase the bundle. The bundle was about $124. So if you're interested in like collecting all of these palettes, I would suggest going with the bundle price. I couldn't find a shipping cost for them. I think once you spend over a certain amount, you do get free shipping. So both of these together was like 72 bucks. So I did get free shipping. I think Trend Mood has a code with them. So you can definitely go ahead and use that, but not with the palette. So if you wanted something else on the website, you can use the codes. But since these are new products, you can't use any codes with these. As far as the packaging goes, this is what they look like. It is cardboard packaging. There is a little mirror. These colors are very interesting. I mean, they're like a little bit tacky, but also like they're such a great size that I can't be like mad about it. And they have little sleeves, so they don't come with box packaging. It's just a little sleeve, which I think is great because sometimes I think brands really take like packaging overboard. So I feel like this is definitely the perfect amount. I am so excited about this Beauty Rust one because this honestly like speaks to me on a whole nother like level and yeah I'm just really excited about this particular palette. I'm actually considering putting this in my 2018 Project Pan series that I'm going to start up that I've been talking to you guys about because I've been watching, what's her name, Lauren May Beauty, I think is her channel. I will go ahead and link that down below. And one of her tips for project panning is picking products you actually love, which I think 
is something that I guess I never thought of. I always thought you want to pan things that you don't really like so you can get them out of your collection. But she explained it as pick things you love because then you won't be upset about having to use them all the time. It's a really good tip if you are considering project panning. So I'm going to stop deviating from what we're actually talking about right now. As far as how much eyeshadow is in these palettes, they each contain net weight of 0.05 ounces and total weight is 0.32 ounces. So you get a decent amount of product. I believe these are the size of a regular single by Color Grain. I actually haven't done a comparison, but honestly, when am I going to get through an eyeshadow palette? So I really don't concern myself too much with the quantities. <laughs> and these palettes are made in the USA, so if that's something you are concerned about, I just wanted to let you know. As far as shade selection and finishes, so the Beauty Rust one has one foil shade and the rest of the shades are matte. So really beautiful. I actually do have a swatch video of these palettes. So I will go ahead and link that up in the cards for you guys to check out so you can see the swatch on my skin tone. I will also do a get ready with me video eventually with these. I have so many palettes to review guys. I feel like I'm still playing catch up but I will do a video with a look from this palette and this palette is also cruelty free. Now this one, the cool tone one, is a little bit different. This one has three shimmer shades so it's this gray this pinky gold shade and this purple shade and then the other three are matte so they each have different layouts which i think is cool this pink berry shade definitely reminds me of a lot of other shades i've seen a shade like this in juvia's place palettes as well as the new huda beauty palette as well as the old huda beauty palette they actually have the same shade and it looks just like this it's a gold pink shade so if you're into that as far as skin tone like i said it is a black owned makeup brand i think these colors are so so vibrant and pigmented that they should work on pretty much any skin tone i can't imagine that they wouldn't the shelf life is 12 months on each of the palettes that i have like i had mentioned previously i ordered on 10 6 and the palettes did arrive on 10.23 to me. Application I want to talk about is amazing you guys. These are so true to the color brain formula. You can't go wrong. If you've been wanting to try the brand you could pick up a little palette or even just pick up some of their singles especially with them always doing sales on some of their permanent products. You might be able to get a little bit better of a deal if you just buy the single eyeshadows. Honestly like this, this beauty rest one is my favorite. I can't Help myself but favor this palette but these shades are so stunning I just can see myself wearing all of these on a daily basis so I'm so happy I bought these and like the second these shadows touch my skin they just blended like butter and that is something I always look for in eyeshadows is that they're easy to blend and that they're pigmented and there was no fallout from the matte shades. The shimmer shade is a little bit more of a foil shade so you can use a wet brush. If you do use your finger you'll probably get a little bit of fallout but it's totally worth it. Just do your eyeshadow first. I think Colored Rain makes some of the best eyeshadows I have personally ever used. So guys, would I recommend this palette to you? 100%. I only have two of them, so I'm only talking about these two. I could have done without the Cool Tone palette because you guys, Cool Tones are just not me. But as far as like pigmentation and stuff, there is nothing lacking in this palette. If I just had to say like preference wise, I do favor the Beauty Rust one. But they're both excellent palettes. They blend amazingly well and they're so so pigmented so I do love these. I also love the mini size because you're getting six shades and you can just you know work this in to your makeup routine on a daily basis or just use this on its own. It's a great everyday palette. The only thing that this is missing is like a brow bone highlight but most of us already have a palette containing our perfect brow bone highlight so Really, I don't think that would be, you know, the most concerning about them. This one obviously doesn't really have like a perfect transition shade for like every skin tone and stuff like that. So I think these will work really well combined with other palettes. But if you were really desperate, you could make it work on their own as well, sort of. Not really, because most people love a good brow bone highlight. So, um, but yeah, they're, I think they're definitely more of a supplemental palette, but... I could just see myself using this day after day because it's that good. I mean, they're so buttery. You guys have to see the swatch video. It's so, so good. 
But yeah, I really like these. I would recommend them. I think they are a little bit too expensive though for what you're getting. I feel like $36 is a lot of money. Most single eyeshadows are in the $5 range. So if you were to buy six of them, it is about $30. So I don't feel like they're giving you a really good like price discount. So that's kind of a bummer. But I don't think colored rain single shadows are $5. So I think it is priced adequately for their price point, but when I think of like ColourPop and how good those single shadows are, it is a little bit tough to swallow this pill. Now Huda Beauty is also coming out with mini palettes in the next couple of days. I'm so excited to pick some of those up. So I will definitely have to compare her palettes with these ones and I will let you know if I think you know one is better than the other in a future video but that is everything I wanted to cover with you guys today I hope you found this video useful and entertaining if you have any questions comments or concerns leave them down below again don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys I do have a giveaway going on right now I will list it in the description box and you will find a ton of other useful information down there as well um yeah that's pretty much everything I had to say so I hope you guys have a good week and thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.